What's up, YouTubers? It's me again, Brian, aka Gamer55551. And I am back with a video game review. And for this review, we're going to be taking a look at Puya Puya Tetris for the Nintendo Switch, also available on the PS4 as well. Now, by at this point, anybody in, in, at any point in their life went as far as getting into gaming, gaming though, has at some point has played Tetris, okay? In different forms or in different ways. For me though, it was when, it was basically, I think back in the 80s when the Game Boy came out and I remember playing the original Tetris on the Nintendo Game Boys. Other people may have played it either like on an old computer at the time um, or in any other form or like one of those Tiger Electronic Game or Watch or Tamer Watch type of game. So at some point, some of us have played Tetris at a certain point in our lives though. As far as the game, as far as we know, Tetris hasn't pretty much changed over the years. It's, the gameplay is still simple, but addictive nevertheless. Um, there have been some shakeups with it in the past. Um, 1997's N64 release Tetrisphere, a fun game never, nevertheless though, introduced a different take on Tetris while I think the new Tetris introduced the idea of where you could basically hold a certain Tetris block and save that for when you <coughs> excuse me, absolutely need it. But other than that, the formula has still pretty much remained the same, which isn't always a bad thing. Puya Puya, on the other hand, not a lot of people have heard of it though. I'm, I've heard some of it, but I never played it before until, you know, getting this game though. Though, but it follows somewhat of a similar route to Tetris, but takes a little different approach where Tetris, you gotta line up the pieces together. Well, th this one, you don't have exactly have to line them up together. You have to get it in the lines of four. It could be like up, you know, like up or down or left or right, any way you want to do that. But, but overall, I mean, it is an interesting game having played this one. And having tried this game out, I will say for puzzle fans, we'll really enjoy it. Um, there are a few, there are only about two minor cons, but there are a couple of pros that make up for it. So when we get started with the pros and cons, we'll start first with the pros. Uh, the first one, of course, obviously, is the addictive gameplay. Um, the game follows the tire true formula, at least for the Tetris side. Same with Puya Puya. Um, again, like the old saying goes, if it's never broken, don't fix it. And that's still there, still applies with Tetris. Same with Puya Puya for those who've never played Puya Puya before. Um, so, and you know what? I've never played it before, but I'm starting to enjoy it as well. So for those who've never played that Puya Puya, we'll enjoy that. And for those who enjoy Tetris, we'll certainly get a like out of this one as well. Uh, the next one is that both the multiplayer and the single player, which both can be, which the multiplayer can be played both off and online modes, are fun. I mean, some of the modes are very fun to play. Um, there's, I think, the Big Bang mode, which is sort of, that's an interesting mode. I think I have gameplay footage of that one. But the two favorite modes for me have to be Fusion and Swap mode. Uh, Fusion, I think, combines Puyo Puyo and Tetris into one, which makes them for some interesting gameplay. While Swap mode, which is my personal favorite, is in a multiplayer match, whether you're playing against the CPU or against other players, you basically play either Tetris or Puyo Puyo, and then after maybe like a minute or so, it will switch to say the next puzzle. Like, let's say for example, you start with Tetris, okay? You play for a little bit, and then I think maybe in the next like a minute or so, you switch straight to Puyo Puyo, and then in the next minute, you switch straight back to Tetris. So it adds an interesting gameplay style to it, so because you have to sort of memorize how both Puyo Puyo and Tetris works. But to me, it's definitely one of my favorite modes in Puyo Puyo Tetris. I mean, there are other modes I have yet to try out, but both Fusion and Swap mode are my personal favorite. And, not, and last but not least though, um, and this actually only applies for the Nintendo Switch version, is uh, different control schemes you could choose from. Um, while you could play this game, you know, with, you know, the traditional the Joy-Cons, you know, within the Joy-Con grips or the Pro Controller. For those who are looking for um, local multiplayer, you can, you know, play this with, uh, play this as you can see from the picture right here. The two Joy-Con grips on the side, which great makes great for multiplayer and also great if, you know, 
bring it with you on the go with since that's how the Nintendo Switch is a hybrid um, console and handheld but in terms of control schemes you got plenty of choices to choose from which is certainly not a bad thing however and and that makes it great for you know that local co-op though there is online however so you can still play against other players online but for those who are looking for the local co-op you'll then that's there especially if thanks to the fact that there are different control schemes you can use from from the joy cons to basically the clean pla clean classic controller which by the way is a must own if you're getting a nintendo switch uh, okay so i'm um, going to take a little break and when we come back we'll get to the cons for puyo puyo tetris all right so we'll take a little break and we will be right back Okay, and we are back with part two of our review of Puyo Puyo Tetris for the Nintendo Switch, also available on the PS4 as well. Um, I forgot to mention that if you want to see some gameplay footage of me playing Puyo Puyo Tetris, I'll have a link in the description below. Uh, keep in mind, it is the Switch version I'm playing, not the PS4 version. All right, so now that we got the pros out of the way, why don't we get started with the cons? And at least as far as I can tell, there's really only two cons. I mean, they're not huge cons, but still, it's worth pointing out, though. I mean, the first one we'll start with is the story mode. And it's not terrible or anything like that. From what I understand, it has like 100 levels to play against the computer. And it isn't, it isn't a terrible story or anything like that. But don't go in expecting you're going to expect a epic story like say like what you would get from like a Final Fantasy game or anything like that. Um, if anything the story kind of is a little bit almost kind of feels like something out of a Pokemon episode or something like that. Um, I, although technically I'm not a huge Pokemon fan I never really got into that stuff but overall the story is silly. Um, it's not terrible or anything like that but don't expect anything special out of it at least as far as I could tell. Um, and finally, last but not least, is the visuals. And I will say, the graphics are good and colorful, and I do love the 2D art in Puyo Puyo Tetris. But that said, don't expect any, don't expect the visuals to blow you away. I mean, Tetris wasn't the most graphically enhanced video game out there anyway, so don't expect anything, don't expect any bells and whistles, don't expect like this to be, oh, as amazing as say like what, like Metal Gear is or anything like that. I mean, again, it's not terrible looking or anything like that. It's just, <clears throat> excuse me, it's not the most, visually, it's not going to be the most mind-blowing visuals out there. So, again, nothing terrible, uh, nothing bad or anything like that, but just don't expect anything. Don't just don't expect the visuals to blow you away or anything like that. Overall, putting the story mode, which is okay but not great, and the visuals, which again are okay but not great either, Puyo Puyo Tetris is still a fun and addictive puzzle game, though. Uh, it's, Tetris is still the tire and true formula with some new takes on it, along with Puyo Puyo, for those who've never played it before, is also a fun game. And it has plenty of modes to keep you busy, whether it's in single player multiplayer whether it's online or offline with co-op there's there's plenty of modes to enjoy out of tetris Tet puyo puyo tetris though and if you are a big puzzle fan or like puzzle games um it's worth taking a look at as well and it's worth picking up regardless of whether you are regardless if you have the switch as your main system or whether the ps4 as your main system so for puzzle fans it's definitely worth taking a look at uh, before I end this video, I just I just want to point something out, and this is something I thought was really odd until I sort of saw a video and kind of see of it. If you look at the ESRB rating on the game right here, it says an E10, and according to the back, it points out mild suggestive themes. Now, when I heard that, I kind of sort of scratched my head a little bit about that, figuring how in the world can a game like this get mild suggested themes? Well, I found a video on it and I'm, well, it's best if you see it yourself. I'll have a link in the description and it's just, and let's just say for some people are going to interpret some of the way they say it in sort of a very 
interesting way. Let's just leave it at that, okay? I, I'm not saying it's completely inappropriate, but you can it can easily be interpreted in some ways for some people, though. So, again, I'll have a link in the description. You can check it out. It's not terrible or bad. It's just... It's just the way they say it's just kind of, well, interesting. It kind of makes you sometimes wonder, how, and this got an E10 rating. It's, it's kind of funny a little bit, though. Okay, um, this, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, this concludes my review of Puyo Puyo Tetris for the Nintendo Switch. Again, also available on the PS4. And again, these are my opinion, but what are yours? Is this a game you're worth picking up, Puyo Puyo Tetris? Is it the kind of game that interests you? Is it a game that doesn't interest you? Are you into puzzle games? Do you hate puzzle games? Do you, are you going to pick this up because you're a big fan? Do you enjoy Tetris or do you feel like you've played so many versions of Tetris you don't need to pick this up? What about the Puyo Puyo side? Do you wanna, are you going to pick this up to try out Puyo Puyo? Something you may have never tried before? Or you just, you know what, you're not into puzzle games, you're just going to skip it all together. Um, if you are going to pick it up, which version do you plan to get? The PS4, the Switch version, or for some reason, maybe both? Um, do you agree with my review? Do you disagree? Do you have a different take on Puyo Puyo Tetris than what I said in this video? As always, sound off on the comment section below. Let me know what you think, and I hope you hit that like button. And I hope you do subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, um... Feel free to share this video if you want to, and also feel free to donate to this channel if you like. I'll have a link in the description of this video. You could do it through uh, PayPal me, or you could do it through Patreon. All right, and this concludes this video of my review of Puyo Puyo Tetris. Um, it's afternoon in Southern California, so I'll be trying to figure out what I'll be doing the rest of the day. And I will see you again next time when I do another video. Hopefully that will be soon. But from Southern California, I wish you all a good day. Bye.